Hello everybody. Good afternoon. Can you guys see me? Yes. Yes. Hi Ankit. Hi Rakshit. Hi Riya. Pahul. Hello Saloni. Hardik sir join karo. Yes. Yes. Hardik sir is also joining in guys. I like this excitement you have for the educators on the portal. Yeah? That is so motivating for each one of us. That is wonderful. मैं किसी का नाम तो नहीं भूली हाई प्रेरित यस यस ज्वाइन इन ज्वाइन इन क्विकली दिस सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल सेशन स्पेशली फॉर दो स्टूडेंट हु हैव एन एग्जाम दैट इज द क्विज दैट इज कमिंग अप डे आफ्टर टूमोरो Keeping that quiz in mind, I have scheduled this YT session so that all the students and the portal students can take the maximum benefit out of it. If you have already read the information that is given below this video, we are going to revise a quick recap. Okay, we are going to do a quick recap for three poems in one prose that we have already done on our Plus portal. आज उसका एक quick recap session करेंगे. Any doubts? You can always talk to me in the live chat. मेरे सामने वो खुला हुआ है, and I keep refreshing it so that I get your messages. Hi, Saurav. Hi, Saksham. Uh, hi, Shweta Upadhyay. Hello, Vikas. Welcome to the session. I quickly introduce myself. I am Vandana Bajaj. I am a CS. I am an NET qualified assistant professor. I have also done in my masters in commerce and bachelors in management studies. I am a teaching faculty and a soft skills trainer. My subjects forte uh, are English language and literature, business communication, business management, and related subjects. I have been teaching since twelve years. I've completed fruitful twelve years in this month itself. I started teaching in June two thousand eight, and it's a long journey. I'm completely enjoying beginning with my thirteenth year in this field with you guys. I have also been a paper setter and examiner with Mumbai University for self financing courses. Have been awarded as the best international service director in Rotary District three one four zero, and have also written and presented a research paper on winning corporate awards from the learnings of Ramayan in the year two thousand nineteen. That is about me for the time being. Switching to the next slide. Hi Anita. Hello Hardik sir. Welcome to the session. Hi. Uh, hi Anita. Uh, Ma'am, where is Sir? Sir is right there in the chat section. Hi, Arun. Okay, Arun. The next thing I do is I take up the Nelson Mandela chapter for sure, dear. Thank you so much for that suggestion. Before that, all the students who are watching this video and haven't subscribed to the portal of Fun Academy, let me tell tell you, it's getting bigger. It's getting better. There are multiple benefits that you avail yourself. You expose yourself to. We have a live structured course wherein you are informed. Like there is a batch course that is going on for the tenth standard students. There is a batch course that is going on for the ninth standard students. Uh, trust me, guys. This way of education is way better. I am experiencing it. My students are experiencing it. This kind of education is any given day way better, more fruitful. This shows in your results. I have students. I need to share this online. And congratulations to all the wonderful students who are scoring twenty five out of twenty five in their school tests. Twenty three out of twenty five in their school tests, and they have seen marge. Regional improvements. I can talk about my subject right now. This is the score that I'm sharing with you about my subjects. Everything gets covered. You are trained so well that you are so more, so much more confident about everything you do with us on this portal. So join it right away. Don't miss out the bus. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Attend unlimited live classes. All you need is an internet connection and a few penny that you have to spend. Trust me, it's a totally value for money package. All the doubts are solved. The queries are solved in all the courses that are there on the portal. We have quizzes. We have weekly quizzes. We have mega quizzes. So we, you can always test your performance. The teacher, the educator, also comes to know about your performance. You have classes that are very interactive and very engaging. If at all you are, you know, you want to first experience the portal before paying the money, you can always sit for the special classes. What you have to do is just go to the web, uh, www. anacademy. com website. Search for, let's say, Vandana Bajaj as the educator. Follow my course page so that you get notified whenever I come up with a special class. A special class is special because it is for free. 
You can take the feel of the portal and then decide whether you want to enroll or not. Trust me, after that, you are going to enroll. And if you enjoy this session, you enjoy this quick recap and would like to right away enroll yourself and not miss out on any of the live sessions that are happening right from this day, you can use my referral code that is VB20. You see it on your screen. Yes, it is written in the yellow color, this thing. So you can use my code VB20 to avail a special 10% discount. Are we ready to start today's amazing session? Yes. Hi, Rakshit. Hi, OP Adav. Welcome to the session, guys. Chalo. So start karte hai. Aaj ka behtareen session. Let me give you the agenda for today. It is very important to know what you're going to do today. So we're going to do the road not taken. We're going to do the wind poem. We're going to do rain on the roof poem. These are the three poems that we're going to revise. And we're going to do a very interesting recap of this very amazing story. Actually, a very realistic story about the future world. The fun they had. So this is the recap. The four quadrants you see on your screen. I'm talking maths. Wow. So the four quadrants you see on your screen, this is what we are going to do right now in this session. So chalo shuru karte hai. Are you excited? Hi, uh, hi, Meer. Welcome to the session. Where have you been? Where have you been? Chalo to fir shuru karte hai aaj ka session. Okay. So starting with the first poem that we are taking, The Road Not Taken. Now everything you see in yellow is absolutely very important and that is the reason it has been highlighted in that color. So chaliye shuru karte hai. Yes, in Kariminati style. Okay, Hardik Sarka style. Yes. Ah, yes, sir will also answer. I have prepared with my full effort. Kya baat hai, Pahul? Hi, Saurav. Hi, Tushar. Chalo, we're just starting. You guys are very much in time. The two roads. Now, in this poem, if you see the author, okay, the poet is talking about two roads that are diverging in different directions. Now, if you remember, I have drawing karke bataya tha, wapas karke bata diti hu. Suppose, let's say this is a road. Yeah, it looks more like a tree branch. Let's assume that this is the road I'm talking about. The poet is standing right here at this point on the road and this road is getting divided into two different, let's say, opposite directions, which means one road is going to the left and the another road is going to the right. This is called as divergence. So here the road is getting diverted. Now this poem beautifully takes road as a metaphorical for life. So we here we say that two roads serve as a metaphor for life and they also show the choices that we make in life. So if we go to the left, we miss the right choice. If we go to the right, we miss the left choice. Why is that? Why is that so? Because the poet stands at a junction and they say it is autumn. Now the yellow leaves, the yellow wood that he talks about are the yellow leaves, which are symbolic. Okay, it is a symbolic example for the old people, the experienced people. So he is standing right there. Why do we say experienced people? Because these people have already traveled on these roads and they have achieved some things and missed out on a few things. So the poet stands at the junction in the yellow forest where two roads are branching out in two different directions. Now, what is the dilemma here? He's a single traveler, Akela hai. And can't travel on both the roads at the same time. So the two roads here are the two choices in life. This is nothing but read between the lines. Great poets create greater poems. And good readers understand the meaning that the poet is trying to tell. The message that the poet is trying to convey. So here these two roads are the two choices of life that you have. You have to pick one and walk on that road. The poet is confused which road to take. So he takes the other road because it is less traveled. Now you see, this shows a characteristic feature of the poet. He wants to take an adventure. He wants to try something that not a lot of people have tried. So here the poet is confused and finally, after a lot of thinking process, he, see, he tries to see, you know, the ending of the road, the bend of the road, and then it just mixes with the forest. So he takes the road because it is less traveled. He thinks that 
he will have the other road like he'll walk on this other road for some other day so sticking to my drawing i'll quickly change my pen color to explain it to you better now he says that chalo aaj main ek road pe chal leta hu let me take the left road today and some day later i will come back and try the right road also the other road that i am not taking up so he decides that but the point is once you take up a road i'll do another drawing there to explain this point to you a very beautiful drawing not sorry not drawing sorry sorry a very beautiful point that the poet is making here and it is so real about our lives that when you take one road okay so let's say these are the two roads that are getting divided you walk on this road and you think that i will come back for this road later in life now that doesn't happen why because once you start walking on this road this road further gets divided into two roads then you take the another route okay again you have a choice either you take the left or you take the right so let's say you take the left one then again when you go ahead this road gets divided into a different direction let's say you again say you want to take the left road the point is that once you start walking on a road you keep walking on that road for a very long period of time and then there comes a point you cannot return and take the another road same thing is applicable for the choices that you make in life now this poem is there in your book why why is this poem there in your book because right from this point you appear for 10th after this year after appearing for 10th you have to make a choice the first big choice of your life which is going to channelize your career you have to think and take this decision think carefully examine the pros and cons of course you will not know everything about the future but a cautious step will take you to your desired destination so that is the reason we have this poem in our book so he thinks that he will leave the other road for some other day but the life is such that in life one road leads to another and it goes on that way we finally reach a point of no return once you take a choice for example if you take a choice let me do science after 10th let me take up science you take up science you take up doc medicine or engineering and then you decide the field of engineering and then you say ki chalo wapas ja ke commerce bhi try kar leta hu that doesn't happen that is how the choices of life are so you have to be very careful in a nutshell if i have to revise this poem i just have to tell you one thing the choice we makes we make makes all the difference in life that is the ultimate message the poet is giving it very true okay Good afternoon Sunita good afternoon a very happy welcome to all of you who have just joined in in the session coming down to our next poem a very beautiful poem with a very beautiful message it talks about the wind now we know that wind if it is very soft it is very pleasant it's called a breeze and you enjoy that when it turns ugly it becomes strong it becomes powerful it becomes destructive so here you will find that the poet is talking to the wind in this poem and that is the reason the point number 1 and that yellow thing is wind is personified in the poem if i talk to something that means that something has the ability to listen to me now listening is a human quality and that is the reason we say in this poem the wind is personified second point that i want to talk about this poem the poet says the wind is destructive and compares the destructive power of the wind why am i emphasizing see i have put a yellow color here it is emphasizing it is comparing this destructive power of wind to the adversities of life what are adversities of life darling these are nothing but these are the problems and you know what that is make that is something that these problems these adversities the challenges the obstacles the hardships all these things make your life interesting it will be very boring if every morning you get up and you see only happiness around you it will be very boring if every morning you get up and you see gloomy things around you you see sad things around you no it will be great if some day you get up in the morning you see a challenge you take that challenge you win in that challenge good you don't win in that challenge you learn even better So here, 
The poet is talking about the destructive power of wind and gives us a very beautiful example, very beautiful comparison that such are the problems of life. The poet says that the weak people break down. Now, when these problems come, weak people give up. But the stronger people emerge out of adversities even stronger. So, that is the point here. Life may, whenever you have problems, jabhi bhi life may problems face kao. Remember this thing when I tell this to you. You might have heard it, but I want to repeat it for you. You have a problem, don't say, why I have a problem? Why me, God, always? Why do you have to try me always? No. You don't have to tell, why me? Instead, say, try me. Show that you are bigger than your problem. Be determined, be bold enough to face all the obstacles, all the hardships that you're going to face in your life. So people emerge out of adversities. If you face it, it cannot break you. But if you are weak, you run away, you give up, you crumble. And that is the reason this poem talks about, you know, crumbling hearts, crumbling houses, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives. So wind is that problem of the life that is destructive in nature. But if you face it very boldly, you will come out even stronger. Which also brings me to a point that I want to raise here. Thank you so much, O.P. Yadav. Thank you. Hi, Akshara. Okay, I, I recognize you. I remember you. This is your first class, O.P. Excellent, yaar. If you really enjoy, you can join me in the portal. You can join me in the portal. Okay. Oh, O.P. Is that Simran? I, I cannot see that message. But okay. Welcome to the session and thank you so much for that compliment. Here this brings me to a point that if you have a problem in life and to all those people who give up, we just heard a news about which my students are still feeling bad about. I am also feeling bad about this news of Sushant Singh Rajput and I connect that to this poem to explain it to you in the best possible way. I don't find any other way of explanation as emphasizing and as easy to understand as this. Our generation, your generation and all the coming generations and gone generations have to understand this point. If you lose a match, now all those students who play, let's say you play badminton, you play cricket, you don't win always. Sometimes you lose the game. You lose in the game. Sometimes you lose very badly. Sometimes it's a good fight, but you lose by one or two points, one wicket, one run, one ball, shot. So you lose, you fail. But my question to you is, and I want you to answer this in the live chat. If you lose a match, do you stop playing? Do you give up on that sport? Yes? Do you? Come on, give me an answer in the live chat. If you lose some day in a match do you stop playing you lose a race do you stop running do you give up of course not you don't you try harder you prep harder so that you win the next time you learn where you lost you learn you focus on that point like i'll give you an example of vinay sir vinay sir is a very good cricketer i i try my level best to watch all of his all of his matches and after his every match, I see him discussing with his team. And after that, we discuss. I don't have complete knowledge about cricket. And of course, I've never played on the field. So I don't know what kind of pressure there is. But still, I give him my feedback. He discusses, Are, aisa nahi hona ya hamara galti hua. You discuss, you overcome that loophole, that leakage in your preparation. And you come stronger next time. So, if you fail in life, now, if Sushant Singh would have been alive right now, I would have asked him this question. You lose a movie, you lose 10 movies. You fail once in life. Why do you stop living? Ask yourself next time you feel depressed. The poem gives an important message that we should be mentally tough and physically strong. So, ek cheez bhi kam hogi to imbalance ho jayega. Corona has taught us this. Sif mentally strong Muna is not everything. Sif physically strong Muna is not everything. So many people are going in depression. I hear so many suicide cases during this lockdown period. 
So when you suicide, you're not mentally strong. And when you get attacked by COVID, it shows your lack of immunity. So you have to be physically and mentally tough in order to survive the hardships of life. That is what the poet is telling you. A weak person breaks down like a weak building and crumbles. We must make these destructive forces our friends. Why? Why our friends? Nobody likes problems. You will not say, any problem, I'm free. You don't do that. But when you see a friend out of nowhere, you get up this morning and you have a friend who flies down from another city to meet you. How good you feel. How happy you welcome that friend. You know, Arif, wow, how, how come you here? Yaar? I'm so happy to see you. Now, that's your approach to the challenges in life. If you get up one morning and find yourself in a difficult situation, treat that difficult situation like your friend. And tell that situation, hey, nice to see you. I'm going to fight you. That's the attitude the poem is trying to build inside you. So we must make these destructive forces our friends with our strength and determination. Life is going to be beautiful that way. This is in nutshell, if I want to tell you something about the poem, this is what I want to talk to you about. It's a quick, rapid thing. Hardik sir, kaha hai? Hardik sir, yehi hai, bita. He's very much there in the chat. Hi, Shambhavi. Hi, Tabres. Welcome to the session. Welcome to the session. Thank you. Hi, the bolt. Either he who, yes, Ankit, superb, superb. So you guys agree? So you guys agree with me, whatever I say? Yes, superb, superb. Koi aur hai, jisko mein welcome karna bhool gai hu session mein? Hashtag the bolt. Koi hai? Okay, coming down to the next poem, a very beautiful poem. You see, all these poems are taking nature as their symbolic examples, which is very beautiful. So rain on the roof. At night, how the poem starts, okay? At night, now this poem, let me highlight this important fact, has a lot of phrases, has a lot of phrases that you have to prep really well for. Expect a question about the phrases that have been used in the poem like uh, the dark clouds or the starry spheres. So these kind of phrases have been used in this poem and you have to really work hard on that. At night, when the sky is dark, clouds cover the sky. So you see these shadows, that the poet has spoken about. That is nothing but the shadow of these dark clouds. Gives you an imagination. Imagery is the main idea of this poem. So clouds cover the sky and it rains gently. Then the poet lies in a cozy bed. You know, so whenever it's raining, that's the first thing that I want to do is tuck myself uh, inside a warm blanket, enjoy the rains with that perfect cup of coffee in my hand and sip it, listen to some good music, catch up on a good series or read a good book. So the poet lies in his cozy bed, listening to the sound of gentle raindrops. So you see, there's the sound that the raindrop makes. Tup, tup. And when it happens together, it's like in a beautiful rhythm. Nature creates it. There is no orchestra, orchestra that is playing it. So listening to the sound of the gentle raindrops on the rooftop of his house, that's how the scene begins. Now he remembers towards the end a very important paragraph of this poem, the third paragraph. He talks about his mother. The mother is no more alive. She's passed away. He remembers that his mother used to tell him stories which gave him immense pleasure and solace. So much of happiness and peace and contentment. Granny tales, mama tales at night are the best things of one of the best memories of the childhood that any person can have. I till date make it a point that some days when I'm not sleepy, I listen to a good story. Someone has to read out a good story to me so that I sleep and I think about all the good things in life. So that is how this poet is enjoying this beautiful rain, thinking about his mother, how affectionately and warmly she used to see her kids. Okay, that is what he talk about in the, talks about in the last paragraph. How lovingly the mother used to see these kids when they were about to sleep because the next thing that she's going to do is see them in the morning. So the entire night she'll not be able to see them. So she sees them with a lot of warmth and affection. And when the sky is covered with dark clouds and then it starts raining. So here he says that because it is so gloomy when the dark clouds are there, it's not boring some awesome hota hai jo clouds a jate hai. And the moment it starts raining, it is like all the sadness has been wept away with. That means the clouds have cried, they have weeped their sadness, uh, and now everything is so happy. 
starts raining and everybody just feels thrilled. So thrilled is nothing but excited, happy. Our wishes or one wishes to lie in a cozy bed and thousands of fancies. You know, when you are in a happy mood, naturally you start thinking about all the happy things in life. You imagine happy situations in life. So that is what happened with this poet also. It is most joyful to listen or to enjoy listening to the music of pattering sound of the rain. If you haven't done that till now, we are in the monsoon season. No matter how much busy you are, take five minutes off your schedule when it starts raining. My mom, my brother and we do that. Last, last rains, uh, Vinay sir, Vandana ma'am and our mother, we went down on our podium and we enjoyed the rain. We were drenched in that rain. So sometimes it's good to feel nature. Don't do that right now because we are in a very bad pandemic. So don't do that this time. But just put your hand out and feel those drops. They have some magical power. The nature has some magical healing power. And rain is a part of the nature, the beautiful part of the nature. So it is the most joyful thing to do is to listen to the sound of the rain, enjoy the weather, smell the earth when it rains and the shingles on the roof. So if you see those kind of houses, you want me to draw and explain it to you so that you remember it for a longer time. What are shingles? Shingles are nothing but if this is the rooftop of your house, okay, let's say this is your house and this is called as the roof. On this roof, what you're going to see is some rectangular wooden tiles, okay, remember they are not boxes, they are tiles, they have been placed like this. And this is nothing but this. These are the shingles. Or is pej parish ki bunde girti hai. When it rains, it creates a fantastic sound, a very mild, tinkling sound. And here the poet also says that it echoes in my heart, which means the heartbeat is also synchronizing with the raindrops. Now that is completely hypothetical. Doesn't really happen like that. But here the poet is saying when the heart echoes, that means it. The heart is reciprocating the pleasure of rain, the happiness that it derives with the sound of the raindrops and also there is onomatopoeia in this poem because the author keeps on talking about this point that is the patter, the patter of the rain which also says that there is a figure of speech, a poetic device called refrain that has been used in this poem that is repetition of a line after a couple of lines, repetition of an idea after some lines. So let's say after every fourth line, the idea is repeated, the line is repeated. So that is called as refrain in poetic devices. I hope you are enjoying the explanation thoroughly. The poet expresses his love for nature and its beauty. Now remember, whenever you read this poem, read it like this, that you know the poet is expressing his love. Feel that word for nature and its beauty. So everything about nature is beautiful till the time it is not excess. Very good. Very good, very good, Pahul. Yes, they have healing power. The fragrance of the wet mud. Oh, wow. Yes, it, it is completely intoxicating. If I have to use one word, yes, it's such a lively and lovely poem. Uh, when mood is happy, then we dance. I agree with you, Ankit. I keep doing that. So I completely agree with you. Yes, Simran, we do have quiz today in this session right away live on YouTube. Okay, okay. So you guys are enjoying the explanation. That's fantastic. Coming down to our very, very, very good story. It's a science fiction. That means it is not happening in reality. It is a fiction, not an actual story. And somewhere it brings technology into the picture. So we say the fun they had is a science fiction. This is a prose. It's a wonderful story. It tells us about two young children named Tommy and Margie. But remember, if I ask you or if someone asks you in the paper, who is the main character of this story? It is Margie. Please remember, Margie or Margie. It's a proper noun. So Tommy and Margie who live in the year 2157. Right now we are in 2020. I don't think I'm going to see 2157. Uh, maybe I'll come like your kids. But uh, definitely not in this form. In this body. So 2157. Isaac Asimov has already uh, written it down in a science fiction where children get an education through computers at their home. Something like this. So I can say that your generation is the generation which is witnessing this transformation from the books to the computer screens. That's a good thing. So where children get an education through computers at their home, this is the story about 
one day, now this is an important turn in the story, one day they come through a printed book. So they've never seen a printed book in their lives and they happen to see it one day and learn something about the school that existed hundreds and hundreds of years ago. A hundred year makes one century. So I will say centuries ago, when we were in schools, books, and we used to go to the school, this common building where all the students gathered and students of the same age sat in one class and studied. ये एक जमाने का स्कूल है जिसमें हम आज हैं और एक स्कूल होगा 2157 पे जहाँ पे हर बच्चे के लिए घर में एक मैकेनिकल टीचर होगा लेट मी कॉल इट एस अ रोबो यू विल हैव अ मैकेनिकल टीचर विथ अ ब्लैक स्क्रीन ऑन द फेस एंड ऑल द थिंग्स दैट द टीचर वांट्स टू टॉक टू यू विल बी फ्लैशिंग ऑन द स्क्रीन � that existed hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It's going to be very boring, I know. And that is what the story also tells you. It is a matter of great surprise for them because they are living in the age of moving e-texts, which means when you are studying and observing something, the texts are moving, like you can see it on your screen. When I change the slide, these texts will go. The other set of texts will come on your screen. So that is how they are studying. So they have never seen a book where once something is written on that page, it stays there forever. The text doesn't move until unless you have a bad handwriting and your letters are dancing. Tommy thinks that the book is a waste. And so does Margie. Dono ko lagta hai ki yaar chink kya waste book hai. Aisa thoda na hota hai. Kitna boring hai. In my computer screen, on my telephone, on my television screen, I have millions of books that you know don't occupy any space. अब ये बुक क्या बेकार सी एक बार किसी ने लिख दी ना नोबडी कैन ओवरराइट इट ये तो फेक देंगे सो दे थिंक इट इस अ वेस्ट बट मार्की हु इस द मेन कैरेक्टर ऑफ द स्टोरी थिंक्स दैट और फील्स क्यूरियस शी इस बीन्स शोन एस अ क्यूरियस गर्ल टू नो मोर अबाउट द ओल्ड स्कूल्स शी इस सो फैसिनेटेड � कि यार बच्चे एक साथ में जाते थे साथ में जाते थे साथ में आते थे दीज़ टू हेल्प ईच अदर टू डू देयर होमवर्क दीज़ टू हेल्प ईच अदर टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वाज डन इन द स्कूल सो यू नो दे एन्जॉयड शी एन्जॉयड दिस एंटायर पिक्चराइजेशन व्हिच शी हैज नेवर एक्सपीरियंस्ड इन हर लाइफ सो शी इस Margie's mother is another important character in the story and there is one more important character that is the county inspector who's a nice man so Margie's mother plays an important role in the story as a very particular parent. Bhati disciplined hai, bhati organized lady dikhaya usko. Why? Who does not wish to compromise on her child's education. Any given circumstance, wo ye nahi chaati hai, Margie ki padhai mein kisi bhi tarah ki rukawat aai. She is very particular about Margie attending the school from Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday is given and off. She believes that if students studies every day at the same time, it helps them to become more organized, more punctual and understand the lessons better. Aisa uski mammi ka kehna hai in the story. The story evokes. Now what does the story do? Why is it there in your book? So that you show gratitude to the teachers who are there right now for you and the kind of education, the school buildings and everything you start gratif you start feeling gratified for all of that. The story evokes a thought. Hamari Andrik thought Zinda Karti hai of how e-schools and homeschooling teacher that is a mechanical teacher, a robotic teacher with absolutely absence of human emotions are going to be in future. It also raises a question of absence of human interaction totally in the form of teachers in the 22nd century. Imagine how boring it is if Vandana Ma'am is not teaching you right now and you have a robot telling you all these things. Absolute missing of human touch, human values. There are a lot of things that we learn in the school. Okay, yes, do you agree? You are, okay, the fun we are having. I like the way you put it, Pahul, absolutely. The fun that you are having, your generation after generation, your great-grandchildren are going to miss out on this fun. So this is what this chapter is about, to make you realize that you're really having a very good education system like right now. Don't go after the technology. It's not that great to do it on a 100% technologized environment, something that is completely loaded with technology. Very clear with this, guys. Tommy and Margie, no, no, no. Thank you so much, Saloni, for asking that question. They are neighbors. Now, why do I say they are neighbors and friends? Uh, because 
द स्टूडेंट्स डोंट ट्रेवल टूगेदर टू एनी अदर प्लेस घर में ही बैठ के पढ़ाई करते हैं तो दूर दूर के फ्रेंड्स तो नहीं बन पाएंगे दैट मीन्स टॉमी स्टेज समवेयर इन द नेबरहुड आस पास में ही एंड दैट इज द रीजन कहीं पे भी टॉमी की मम्मी का जिक्र नहीं है इट डजेंट मैंशन एनी वेयर इन द चैप्टर दैट टॉमी की मम्मी उसको साथ में लेके आई थी टू मीट मार्गीज मॉम विच मीन्स टॉमी अकेला आया था छोटा बच्चा है तेरह साल का देव ऑल्सो मैंशन इज एज योर सो तेरह साल का छोटा बच्चा है तो वो अकेले आया है अकेले जाने वाला है घर विच द स्टोरी टेल्स अस वेरी क्लियरली दैट मीन्स दे आर नेबर्स वेरी क्लियर दे आर नॉट ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स गाइज मार्गी की मम्मी की एक ही बेटी थी मार्गी दूसरा बेटा नहीं था टॉमी प्लीज डोंट गेट गेट कंफ्यूज योर ओके दे आर नॉट ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स लेट मी कॉल इट दे आर नेबर्स ओके गुड क्वेश्चन रेडी यार आई मेड अ मिस्टेक यूर सॉरी रेडी 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 तो मैं तुम्हें क्वेश्चन आंसर्स पूछना चालू करूं आई यू रेडी फॉर द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ओके तो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट हार्दिक हार्दिक सर टू प्लीज टेक अप हिस पोजिशन एज द स्कोर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन योर स्क्रीन राइट अवे वाई डज द नरेटर चूज द रोड ही डिसाइड्स टू टेक द पोएम रोड नॉट टेकन ओके आई एम देयर ऑन द लाइक चैट विद यू गाइज यू हैव टू राइट योर आंसर योर प्लीज राइट वन डॉट एंड द आंसर द वे यू आर गोइंग टू राइट इज वन dot and write the answer that is a b c d the option you select why does the narrator choose the road he decides to take because the road is smoother and it looks easier to walk on or because he has directions for traveling that way he has a map or something because it looks less traveled and he's curious about where it leads or because the other road is blocked wahan pe no uh, entry ka barricade laga rakha hai one c excellent i give it to saloni i have received her answer first the answer is absolutely correct he takes that road because it looks less traveled rahul goel yes that is saloni so i give it to you uh, because it looks less traveled and he's curious about where it leads very nice uska man is ke no tabrez no beta ye aisa man se nahi hota hai uh, ankit correct answer hi amish welcome to the session ekdam time pe entry mari hai okay shambhavi correct sukanya correct hi sukanya Uh, rakshit no beta no he doesn't have directions uh, he takes a road that is less traveled remember in the poem uh, tabrez correct sunita correct uh, sukanya correct shrikant correct i am going down to the next question the next question is again from the same poem the road not taken and the question is like this what do the roads in the poem symbolize what do the roads in the poem symbolize come on quickly tell me in the chat section You have to select two dot and then write the option you want to go with. Just का भी पहले message आएगा. Exam कहाँ होगा बेटा? The test is going to be on the portal. It's a weekly quiz like we have every week. Okay, Saloni, I have received your answer first, followed by Amish. So yes, uh, the roads in the poem symbolize the journey of life. That is correct. because you have to take you have to make certain choices in life and these choices take you to your destination absolutely correct very good very good all of you have got this correct yaar wonderful pahul correct uh, simran correct rakshit correct so first i have received saloni's answer then amish and then rakshit and then i have simran tabrez pahul nitesh akshara ah oh, sorry akshara i'm so sorry uh, sunita singh is akshara i am sorry and then we have ankit sukanya anshika shambhavi uh, okay tabrez and shrikant and akshara very good the next question again from the same poem the road not taken let's read the question together what has made all the difference in poet's life the poet says this in the last line so what has made all the difference in the poet's life come on tell me the answer for this hardik sir answer do hardik sir is maintaining the scoreboard yaar <laughs> i'm waiting jaldi 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 okay pahul ka answer kya baat hai pahul uh, what has made all the difference in poet's life but your answer is incorrect pahul your answer is incorrect sukanya very good Correct answer, Sukanya. Correct answer by choosing a less travelled road. This shows that our jo poet is, he is very adventurous in life. Mein. 
good. Correct answer. Correct answer. Very good. Sukanya gets it correct. Uh, Saloni gets it correct. Uh, Tabrez, Tabrez gets it correct. Uh, Rakshit, incorrect. Shambhavi, correct. Simran, correct. Srikant, correct. Anshika, Nitesh, Ankit and Akshara, correct. By not being weak. Actually, this poem is not talking about weak. You confused it with the poem, The Wind. The next question on your screen. Arre, bapre, fatak se aagya, ruko, dheere, dheere laate hai. Let the suspense be there. Okay. So, here the question is, the poet's decision to take the other road indicates that he is dash. I gave the answer in the previous slide. Hi, Aslin. I am doing wonderful. What about you? Thank you so much for asking. Ajo, for tough an answer though, the poet's decision to take the other road indicates that he is dash. Refresh kar leti. 4A Saloni. Correct, correct, correct. Mene pichli slide mein bada bada answer likhe diya tha. I forgot that the next slide is for this. The poet's decision to take the other road. Okay, the other road is which road? The other road is the less traveled road. Kya baat hai yaar? Bohat hi, bohat hi piyara jawab. So it shows that he is very adventurous. And uske baat koi baat nahi raslin, koi baat nahi. Quickly join in the session. Saloni, after that, Sakanya, Rakshit, uh, Pahul, Anshika, Simran, Tabrez, Shambhavi, Shrikant. Uh, Russell is also given the correct answer. Akshara. Nice. And I like the way you write it, Russell. Shows that you are putting it to use the vocabulary, how to improve your vocabulary video. All those guys who haven't seen it, this session ke baad, thoda sa time nikalo aur wo video ja ke dekho. I have given hacks on how to improve your vocabulary to make you a much more confident speaker when it comes to having casual interactions. So please watch that video. That video is going to be of great help. I'm so happy, Raslin. You just made me happy. Uh, Rakshit, beta, tumse pehle. I got Sukanya's answer, yaar. Sorry. The next question is from the poem Wind. What does the poet want the wind to do? Kya chata hai? What does the poet want the wind to do? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Wonderful rustling. Keep trying, keep trying. You will find yourself very confident when you start using all the points that I had mentioned in that video. 5D. Okay, I give it to Pahul. Pahul, Pahul, Pahul ka pehla answer aya hai. No, sorry. Saloni ka aya hai pehla answer. 5D. Ha, to isko na wapas ban kar dena. Okay? D is the correct option. All of the above. The poet does not want the wind to break the shutters of the door. Doesn't want the, the, uh, the wind to scatter the papers. And doesn't want the wind to throw down the books. D is correct. Very good. Very good. So, Saloni after that Bahul. After that Sukanya. Kya baat hai? And, 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 jab the next question aara hai. Uh, Simran has got it correct. Raslin, Tabrez, Shrikan, Shambhavi, Anshika, Rakshit, uh, and Akshara. You all have got this correct. Very good. Our second question, batao, wind poem say, what does crumbling hearts refer to? What does crumbling hearts refer to? Dikhte hai, kaun pehle deta hai? Answer. I'm waiting. Okay. Pahul ka answer mujhe mil chuka hai. And which is correct. So what does crumbling hearts refer to? Crumbling hearts refer to weak people. Please remember, yaha pe age se lena dena kuch bhi nahi hai. The poem never talks about the age, whether you are in your youth or whether you are an old person. Even it doesn't talk about your bank balance or your wealth. It simply says that crumbling kon gir jayega, kon tu tu ho jayega, jo kamzor hoga. So, agar ek bhi option nahi hai, to all of the above wala answer bhi chala jata hai. So, but obviously correct answer is the weak person. Let me see how many people got this correct. So, Pahul ka answer pehle aya hai, uske baad aya hai Raslin and then Simran. Then I have Sukanya, Tabrez, Rahul, Kuldeep, Shambhavi, Shrikant, Anshika, kya baat hai yaar? Uh, Tabrez, uh, uh, Raslin, I got your answer as the second one, beta. And a cheese, please write the question number also when you are answering it. Uh, 
Now, wind is a symbol of what? Come on, third question. Wind is a symbol of what? Fata fat karenge. Wind is a symbol of what? Oh, very good, very good. I have received Pahul's answer 3A. Absolutely correct. Wind symbolizes the adversities. Adversities are nothing but the problems, the challenges, obstacles, hardships that you face in life. Very good. So, pehla answer mujhe aaya hai Pahul ka, uske baad aaya hai Rahul ka, I mean Saloni. And then we have Sukanya, Shambhavi, Shrikant. Sukanya has answered twice, okay. Sukanya 3A is the correct answer, not 3B. Uske baad Akshara. Yeah, please guys remember, wind here symbolizes the problems in life. The adversities in life, okay? It is not talking about a strong fire or a weak fire or an enemy. The next question on your screen right here. Kuldeep is rustling. Yes, yes, yes. Kuldeep is rustling. Correct. I remember that. The next question in the poem, wind is referred to as dash. If you have attended my session, you know the answer. Come on. Question number fourth. I'm waiting for your answer. Question number four. In the poem, wind is referred to what? Very good, Saloni. Wrong. Think again, guys. In the poem, wind is referred to as what? Puri poem yaatru. Kya baat hai? Very good. Pahul. Pahul gets it correct. Pahul gets it correct. The answer is D. Why? Why? Why did you get confused? Come on. When I gave you the summary of this poem, I told you that in the first eight lines, uh, the poet tells that, you know, the wind is a human being. Please come softly like a child. Don't come like a youth who is very strong and destructive and violent. This thing is the poem. the first reference hai as a human being. Second, the poem says that you are the wind god who winnows. You remember that line? There was alliteration bhi aaya tha. So, here the reference is as God. So, dono cheeze hai. And third thing, the last thing towards the end of the poem, the poet says that let's make this wind as our friend. So, wo point bhi aaya tha. So, all of the above is the correct answer. I am glad that you are attending this session because after this, you're going to remember this point forever. Coming down to our next question, which is from the chapter Rain on the Roof. Let's read it together. Let's read it together. Oh, Ruslin, please, uski recording dekna, bita. Please watch that recording. No problem. The theme of the rain on the roof is what? Come on. Question number five. No, sorry. Question number one for the rain on the roof. But tough, but revise karing. Come on, guys. And do give me a feedback if you are enjoying this kind of a revision so that what I do is I will try and schedule a class wherein we quickly recap all the chapters, all the poems, the proses, the supplement readers that we are doing on the portal. And also remember if you are enjoying, use my referral code. Okay, so I have already got the answer. The theme of the rain on the roof is... Okay, I give it to Shrikant. Shrikant has answered it absolutely correctly. It talks about the healing power of rain. It doesn't talk about the sound of the rain. See, that has been mentioned in the poem. But ultimate theme, if poem ki dekho ge na, to it is the healing power of the rain. Please remember this. Please remember this. It is not talking about the beauty of the nature or the sound of the rain or poet's mother. It is ultimately emphasizing that rain has a healing power on human mind. Very good, very good, very well answered. Shrikant Ji, bhoti pyaar answer diya hai. After that, Simran has also got this correct. And even Sapna, hi Sapna. Even Sapna has got this correct. Kuldeep, I remember noun phrase and that's the first thing I'm going to take in the month of July. This was already there on the schedule. So I'm sorry I couldn't take it in between, but I am going to take that topic for sure. Next question on your screen. What do we learn from this poem? What do we learn from this poem? Come on. Difficult question. Let's see who gets this correct. Let me sip some water to it. Most welcome, Mita. Most welcome. Okay. 
very good, very good. I give it to Saloni and then Pahul. पहले आंसर मुझे सलोनी का आया है उसके बाद नहीं सुकन्या आंसर इज रॉन्ग बेटा रक्षित करेक्ट रसलिन करेक्ट सिमरन रॉन्ग देखो भाई what do we learn from this poem we learn that you know you should be always you know when you enter someone's life you should be like a rain spread happiness spread contentment it doesn't talk about the destructive power of rain it doesn't tell you that you should love your parents and it also doesn't tell you to respect the nature why because yahan pe kahin pe bhi destructive forces of nature ke bare mein baat nahi hui hai but we are talking about the rain the fact that rain spreads a lot of happiness so the answer is b Hi Darshita Welcome to the session Revise karo revise karo we have a test coming up day after tomorrow What does starry spheres mean This phrase has been used in the poem and it's a very important question also keeping your exams in mind Kya matlab hai is phrase ka Let's see who gets this correct Darshita, I'm going to schedule tomorrow another battle, uh, another special class. So please check my course page. All the students, check my course page. I'm going to schedule a special class tomorrow. I couldn't schedule it today because I had a YT live session. So I'm going to do it tomorrow, and we're going to have lots of fun. I promise you. Okay, जितने भी बच्चे 3D बोल रहे हैं, बेटा गलत बोल रहे हैं. और जितने भी बच्चे थ्री बी बोल रहे हैं सही बोल रहे हैं सो लेट मी सी हु हैज आंसर थ्री बी फर्स्ट सो आई हैव रसलिन आंसर दैट हैज कम टू मी फॉर दैट हैज कम टू मी फर्स्ट दैट इज थ्री बी रसलिन आंसर हैज कम टू मी फर्स्ट थ्री बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर वो ऑल ऑफ दी अब देखिए उस पर कूदने का नहीं बेटा दैट कैन बी समाइम्स टू ट्रिक यू एंड इन माई एम सी क्यूज दैट इज डेफिनेटली टू ट्रिक यू नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम्स So what does starry spheres mean? It means the sky that is filled with stars, which means we are talking about a night sky. Okay? Please remember this answer. Please remember this answer. One mark short questions के लिए बहुत ही प्यारा question है ये. Teacher's favorite. Rain on the roof. Next question, please. So what is bliss in the poem for the poet? What is Bliss in the poem for the poet. Ultimate happiness kya hai? Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Kaun deta hai iska answer? Man, kya laga? Re re, kya baat hai? Uh, Darshita, I generally keep my special classes in a way where ninth and tenth both the students get maximum benefit out of it. तो अगर मैं नाइन्थ के लिए भी स्केड्यूल करती हूँ ना तो प्लीज अटेंड दैट क्लास इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू ओके बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस एक साथ में आए हैं बट सबसे पहले सबसे पहले मुझे सही आंसर आया है रक्षित का सो आई गोइंग गिव इट टू रक्षित द आंसर इज वेरी करेक्ट व्हाट इज लिस इन द पोए फॉर द पोएट It is listening to the sound of the rainfall. That's the bliss moment. वो क्लियरली बोलता है मैं फिर से बोल रही हूँ ऑल ऑफ दी अब देख के उस पर कूद ही नहीं मारने का ठीक है All those who have answered four D, don't jump on D just because it says सारे options सही है. ऐसा नहीं है. The ultimate bliss, bliss word उसने सिर्फ sound of the rainfall that is patter patter patter. यही चीज के लिए उसने बोला था bliss. ठीक है. Remember this. The next question on your screen is from the fun they had. Let us read it together. Which part of the mechanical teacher Margie hated the most? Come on, think and answer. Raslin, I did not understand what have you written. Oh, I like the way these kids dance. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. Very good, Saloni. Very good, very good, Saloni. The answer मुझे मिल चुका है. The answer is C. Uh, no, Sukanya. No, no, no. The answer is slot. She used to hate putting the punch code. Do you remember if that part of the story? If not, do watch the recording of the entire explanation. We discussed that chapter very nicely in lot of details, and we have also discussed the questions and answers. Now that is the benefit you get, guys, when you enroll in the portal. You just don't get the explanation; you also get the notes, 
And when you study with me, I make sure I give you as many questions that can possibly come from that chapter. And I give you the answers also. And I just don't give it to you. We discuss it live in the class. Now, that is what makes the difference. On which date Margie made an entry in her diary about schools? Question number two on your screen. Or ye mera referral code hai. If you really enjoy the way I teach, you use it. It increases my credibility on the portal. क्या बात है क्या बात है सब टूट पड़े सही आंसर के ऊपर दिखते हैं पहले किसका आंसर आया है आई हैव रिसीव सलोनीज आंसर फर्स्ट फॉलोड बाय पाउल फॉलोड बाय कुल नहीं कुलदीप रॉन्ग दिया है बेटा रसलिन यू आंसर इट इन करेक्टली द आंसर इज 17th May 2157. This is the first line of the chapter. And when I was explaining this chapter, I told this thing that ये बहुत ही जरूरी लाइन है. When she writes in the diary, वापस बता देती हूँ. Why is this line important? Not just for a date, but but whenever you note down something in your diary, whenever you note down something in your diary, that means that event is important in your life. And that is the reason you make a note of it in your diary. You don't write everything in your diary. so this finding of a book was an important event in margie's life and that is the reason she wrote it in her diary on 17 may 2157 kya baat hai the second ka answer b hai aur sabse pehle mujhe answer aaya hai saloni which is rahul goel's id very good the next question on your screen are you enjoying the revision quickly tell me yes if you are enjoying the revision theek hai so i will schedule more such revision lectures for you Who found, who found a real book? अब जिसने स्टोरी ध्यान से पढ़ी है मेरे साथ विल नो दी आंसर फॉर दिस हु फाउंड अ रियल बुक इफ यू रियली एंजॉइंग दिस रिविजन गाइज गिव मी अ थम्स अप इन द चैट सेक्शन सो दैट आई नो दैट आई हैव टू स्केड्यूल मोर सच क्लास फॉर यू यस ग्रेट सलोनी एंड सलोनी इज ऑल्सो गिवन मी द करेक्ट आंसर सबसे पहले मुझे सलोनी का आंसर मिला उसके बाद सुकन्या का उसके बाद पाहुल का गाइस मार्गी नहीं बेटा बुक मिली थी टॉमी को कहा मिली थी कोई बता सकता है चलो आई एम रेजिंग अ क्वेश्चन राइट अवे वेयर डिड ही फाइंड दिस बुक राइट इट इन द चैट सेक्शन वेयर डिड ही फाइंड दिस बुक लेट्स सी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव इट करेक्ट ओनली इफ योर स्पेलिंग इज करेक्ट सपना करेक्ट रसलिन करेक्ट श्रीकांत करेक्ट शांभवी करेक्ट Whoever is going to watch this video after we finish this live session is going to know each one of you. You're getting famous. Very good, Pahul. Very good, Beta Saloni. It is not Altic. It is Attic. Tan. बोलते हैं ना हम लोग loft. एक छोटा सा store room ऊपर की तरफ जहाँ पे हम सारा कबाड घर का जमा करते हैं कि किसी दिन तो हमें काम आएगा वो. Yes. So that is Attic. Correct. 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 क्या बात है? Very good. Very good. I'm so happy that you remember the story. मजा आ रहा है ना इसे पढ़ने में with all these visual effects. Good. The fun they had. The next question on your screen. Who told Margie once about real books? Again, जिसने भी आंसर ये चैप्टर पढ़ा है उसे एक आंसर पता होगा. Who told Margie once about the real books? Pahul, you got it correct first. Yes, Atik, pehla Pahul ka correct tha, because Saloni made a spelling mistake maa par. Ah, Raslin, not Atik, it is Atik, A T T I C. Saloni has answered first, followed by Pahul. Her grandfather told her about the real books, and she shares this in one of her dialogues with Tommy, her neighbor and friend. Remember this. Excellent, excellent. Tommy ne nahi bataya tha real books ke baare mein. Papa ne bhi nahi bataya tha real books ke baare mein. Mechanical teacher ne to definitely nahi bataya tha real books ke baare mein. It was her grandfather who told her. The next question again from this chapter, the fun they had. Let's read the question together. To which world does the story take the readers to? Kaun si dunya mein le jaati hai? Chalo, fata fata batao. Yes, yes, Ruslan. Are no problem, yar. It's okay. Let's see who answers this correctly. Fifth ka answer batao. To which world does the story take the readers to? Kahan le jaati hai story humko? Let me refresh. Agar kisi ka message aa gaya hoga, to okay. Saloni's message has come. 
absolutely correct it just doesn't take you to a future world which brings me to an important point guys agar one mark ke liye question aata hai to which world does the story take the readers to like ordinary students please don't write future world in 20 or 57 in the 22nd century very common answers and when you are an unacademy learner you're not supposed to write something that is ordinary and when you are studying with me ordinary is a strict no we always do things that are extraordinary so remember to write the complete sentence it takes us to the future world where computers will play an important role now that is what makes your answer stand out from the other answers very good very good i'm so happy for all of you who have answered this correctly uh raslin sabse pehle mujhe rahul uh, that is saloni's answer has come first after that simran's and then i have received your answer halaki timing teeno ka same hai but mujhe sabse pehle rahul ka uh, i mean saloni ka answer pehle aaya hai i am so sorry beta all the very best to kanya for the weekly quiz who was the regular teacher who taught the lessons kaun tha wo teacher jaldi se batao I am very close to winding up my session. Who was the regular teacher who taught the lessons? Sixth ka answer kaun deta hai pehle let's see let's see kya baat hai rakshit has already answered it is the mechanical robot teacher who teaches margi and tommy to yahan pe regular teacher kaun hai bacche bolte hai na it is not you know norm It wasn't a regular school. तो उनके लिए हमारे जमाने का जो स्कूल है वो एबनॉर्मल है इरेगुलर है साधारण नहीं है सो वॉट इज मोर साधारण एंड वॉट इज मोर नॉर्मल एंड रेगुलर फॉर दैम इज अ मैकेनिकल रोबो टीचर टीचर्स मार्गी एंड टॉमी वेरी वेल आंसर ब्रिज मी टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फन दे हैड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन विद हुम इज द मैकेनिकल टीचर कॉन्ट्रास्टेड विद किसके साथ उसको कॉन्ट्रास्ट किया गया है ऑपोजिट कॉन्ट्रेडिक्ट किया गया है सलोनी और फिर रसलिन का आया है लेट सी से आंसर कौन पहले देता है एंड हैव आई रिसीव क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंथ का आंसर लेट सी ओके ओके The mechanical teacher has been contrasted with the correct answer has been given by Saloni. The answer is C, not D. The answer is not B. It is not with the old teachers. It is not with the other teachers. It is with the human teachers. Why? Because it is a mechanical teacher. The hint was there in the question itself. Other robots, absolutely no. So it is the C answer. Very good. All those who have answered it correctly. सबसे पहला आंसर सलोनी का आया है करेक्ट उसके बाद पाहुल का आया है फिर श्रीकांत फिर शांभवी वेरी गुड एंड गाइस दैट ब्रिंग्स मी टू द एंड ऑफ आवर वेरी 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 क्विक रिवीजन राइट टू मी इन द लाइव चैट इफ यू रियली एंजॉयड आई हैव ट्राइड दिस काइंड ऑफ रिवीजन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वेयर इट इज मोर लाइक अ न्यूज चैनल गिविंग यू ऑल द टॉप 99 हेडलाइंस इन वन गो सो दैट्स व्हाट वी डिड इतने से टाइम में दस सिक्सटी मिनट्स का पूरा उपयोग हमने कुछ एमसीक्यूज भी सॉल्व कर लिए हमने एमसीक्यूज में ये भी देख लिया कि व्हाट आर द मेन की पॉइंट्स दैट यू सपोज टू राइट फॉर योर शॉर्ट आंसर्स सिर्फ इतना ही नहीं वी आल्सो समराइज थ्री पोएम्स एंड वन प्रोज बताओ एक घंटे का पूरा इस्तेमाल सीखे कोई हमसे ऑन ऑन अकेडमी इफ यू हैव एन ज्वाइन विद प्लीज डोंट थिंक डोंट मिस आउट द बस आई रिपीट आई एम अगेन एंड अगेन टेलिंग दिस टू यू एवरी पासिंग डे इज इंपॉर्टेंट ये पैंडमिक ईयर है इतनी आसानी से नहीं खत्म होगा डोंट वेट फॉर द रूटीन टीचिंग पैटर्न इट्स टाइम फॉर अ चेंज एंड चेंज इज द ओनली थिंग दैट इज कॉन्स्टेंट तो यहाँ पे आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू ऑन दिस थॉट एंड विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेज हारते हो रुकते नहीं हो तो लाइफ में भी यही चीज अप्लाई करना इवन इफ यू कीप लूजिंग इन लाइफ कीप प्रेपिंग हार्डर विद पॉजिवरेंस एंड कंसिस्टेंसी यू आर गोइंग टू बी अ विनर एंड यू आर अ विनर नॉट वेन यू कंपेयर योर सक्सेस विद समन एल्स नाउ दैट इज वेयर वी मेक अ मिस्टेक your success is with your last day इफ माई टू डेज परफॉर्मेंस इज बेटर देन ये डेज परफॉर्मेंस आई एम सक्सेसफुल सो वर्क ऑन दैट keep that success in mind and one day you will be at the top nothing can stop you when you work with that kind of attitude thank you so much i had a great session 
If you have a feedback, do write to me. Don't forget using my referral code VB20. Are ruko 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 ruko. We have the scoreboard. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Our scoreboard Hardik sir was there. Mujhe wave kar rahe hai. Bad bad kar dena. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to see you very soon in the session. Hardik sir ne leaderboard calculate kar liya hai. Okay, sunte to jao Akshara. Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell this to you. हाँ मजा आया तुमको सेशन में बहुत ही सही बात है एंड थर्टी टू पीपल पार्टिसिपेटेड यूर आई लव यू गाइज यू जस्ट मेक माई सेशन सो मच मोर कलरफुल सो ऑन द फर्स्ट पोजिशन वी हैव सलोनी एंड ऑन द सेकेंड पोजिशन वी हैव रक्षित ऑन द थर्ड पोजिशन वी हैव पाहुल एंड सेकेंड पोजिशन पे टाई है सॉरी सेकेंड पोजिशन पे रक्षित एंड पाहुल दोनों है and third position pe we have raslin kya baat hai yaar all the students i would like to take everybody's name please give me one minute shrikant akshara ankit garima saksham anita uh, prakashit devangana isme ek jan ka naam nahi hai that is prerit uh, pahul simran saurav tushar meer parth shambhavi arun ramnath maharaj mahashweta upadhyay uh, saloni riya निकिता अच्छा प्रेरित का नाम है आई एम सो सॉरी तब्रेज द बोल्ड सुकन्या रसलिन नितेश कुलदीप कुलदीप इज रसलिन एक्चुअली सपना कृतिका अंशिका एंड दर्शिता थैंक यू सो मच बेटा फॉर अटेंडिंग द सेशन एंड दिस क्विज आई होप इट हैज हेल्प्ड यू डेवलप योर वो कैबलरी गेट योर कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर एंड ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर द वीकली क्विज एंड द क्विज दैट यू हैव राइट नाउ एंड द वीकली क्विज दैट यू हैव डे आफ्टर टुमारो लॉट्स ऑफ लव टू यू एंड द वे आई से एक्सो 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 लॉट्स ऑफ हॉग्स Take care stay blessed stay safe